we were involved in building the school, building the parish hall, and renovating the church. The church was already done when we got selected to do some work out there. And this is uh, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. We're in the main church here, in the nave of the church. Um, LGA, or Lucchese Galati at the time, didn't design this church, but we were asked uh, probably about 10 years into this church's history to come in and start working on some improvements to this church. We renovated the church, added a baptistry, and then we also redid the whole color scheme and all the pews and the entire altar we redid. One of the biggest things was to actually create a larger space in front of the altar that would be conducive to having larger weddings or uh, funeral services because the original church didn't have a lot of room up near the altar. We're in the process right now of designing a new baptismal that'll be in the lobby and it'll be a permanently built one with an immersion so you could fully immerse. The baptismal font that's being created here was actually in, in response to more of the of the approach that is being taken throughout the Catholic churches and becoming more of the actual submersing with with the priest into the water and coming out. Baptism is how we all became Catholics, and so it should be the entry point of any church, right? And it's, a, it's an interesting um, concept that, you know, that is how we became Catholic, and we should always be reminded of our baptism every time we come to church. We're really maximizing the use of the land here and infilling spots like this just in front of the parish hall, which will be meeting rooms. The other addition will be three classrooms on the adjacent side of the school, close to the schoolyard. And the intent there is to really bring in more specialty, specialty type subjects, and uh, which is really a draw for, for many people deciding on whether to enroll the children here.